because I'm using the variable row, I'm not getting the correct information. So if I just change this to post data, everything should be happy. And as you can see, this is pr Friday 25th. So um, I'm going to go back here. And I still have all the information, but I'm going to be referring to the title with the post data. So I'm going to say, um, again, in PHP, and instead of echoing it um, in a long fashion like that, I'm just going to put it all in one line. So I'm going to say, echo HTML entities, dollar sign post data. I'm going to put in uh, title, and I'm going to close that. And I'm going to use this basic uh, format for the rest of my author page here. And then I'm going to change this to author. Well, actually, it's not author, it's post name. And then I'm going to put in the content, of course. And I should be safe after this moment with all that information. Now, one thing I need to go back and remind you of is that I did not actually put in the HTML entities parts for the title and the post name in this section here. Now, the reason why I'm going to be using HTML entities is because, for example, if my title had an, an, an ampersand in it, it would just put an ampersand, and that is a special character used in HTML um, to identify possibly other UTF-8 elements to show in the fonts. So what you need to do for that is to replace an ampersand with an ampersand AMP semicolon. But if I just use the HTML entities function, it will handle uh, most, if not all, issues that are like that. So I refresh. I now have a blog post right here showing up. So the next thing I wanted to do is also make a link that goes back to the main blog. So I'm going to go back to my post page, go right here, make an A tag, make an href tag, uh, subsection there. Um, or configuration, I'm going to say blog.php not a blag like on XKCD. And I'm going to end that there. I'm going to save. I'm going to refresh. And I can click on blog title and I'm back to blog content. So if I just click on some of our entry like Happy Tacos, you'll see that Happy Tacos works. And I just made that file right then and there. So now I have a working blog that is now using compound SQL syntax and I have separate pages for each post. So, um, what's important to remember here is that you can utilize the power of SQL in many ways and you can make it look as complex like this as uh, possible and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more complex things than just this but with complexity also comes power. But again, that also comes with responsibility as said in Spider-Man. Now, the reason why I say responsibility is because you have to remember that you have to be safe with your variables. This is safe because I'm guaranteed up here it will only be a number. Now, if it just uh, put in a zero, it would get no row whatsoever because no row actually has is identified with zero. So, I'm safe with that. Um, but the other thing is that um, I'm not being too complex here. And I do not have a comment section or anything like that, but that will come in future tutorials. So, um, this was not too complex of a tutorial, I hope, for you. But if you do not understand the SQL part, please replay it. Um, and forgive me if I did not make much sense with it. So, I'm going to go back here to my tutorial site. It's klopop321.com slash php hyphen tutorials. Now you can go there and you can see um, my latest um, entries. I uh, mainly just make video tutorials as I find them a lot easier to do. And I also post them up on YouTube. And also um, remember that if you comment on my site, I will answer you and I will also answer you in depth to make sure that you understand um, everything else so that everything about what you're trying to learn is cleared up. So, if I have um, anybody interested, they can subscribe to not only a newsletter that sends you a notification whenever I post a new item, 
but you can also subscribe to me on YouTube so you can see my videos when they come out um, when they just come out but also be um, notice uh, that if you try watching the first time they come on you know the quality and all that might not be the best because it's still rendering and um, I'm still probably working on the post on my site so feel free to contact me here um, at cloppop21.com and uh, feel free to ask any questions sub uh, subscribe and if you have any requests or future tutorials or concepts to be implemented in a project such as this blog feel free to message me through my contact form. This is Club 321 signing off.